So our trip started with a flight to Skardu. Uh, the flight is beautiful. We were crossing snow-capped mountains throughout. And at one point, you're crossing Nanga Parbat. That is Nanga Parbat, um, which is called the Killer Mountain. Uh, when you enter the Skardu Valley, uh, the, te- the landing is really technical. You have to make three or four rounds before you descend. Um, Skardu itself is absolutely spectacular. We went to Shangri-La. It's, this is a lake, um, also called Lower Kachura. Um, really beautiful. And uh, we also went to the Devasai Plains, which is at 4,100 meters, one of the highest plateaus in the world. Um, really helped with our acclimatization. And after that, we started our trip um, with an eight-hour jeep ride to Ascoli. And from Ascoli, we were on our feet for 13 days. Czy tam gdzieś będzie kres? Już w żadnych oczach nie będę mieszkać mógł. Już w każdych włosach odnajdę wstęgę dróg. I ciągle dal, za dalą dal, zawieje śnieżyce i żar i kurz. I nie wiem nawet już. Czy tam gdzieś będzie kres? Czy tam gdzieś będzie kres? So we reached Escoli and we camped here for a night. It's a 17th century village um, and they have some houses which are still all set up in the 17th century. Um, And from here we started our trek to get to base camp and beyond. Um, This is at 3000 meters and we would be climbing all the way up to 5600. We would be climbing eight to ten hours every day um, but some days we would be trekking for even 14 15 hours um, first stop was jula um, then payu urdukas goro to concordia and uh, then k to base camp and then to ali camp Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay, hi everyone. So, we have been trekking for six days. This is our sixth day, and uh, we I, we have just crossed uh, the entire Bultur, not the entire Bultur glacier, but most of it. Um, in the distance, you can see the highest peak. That's quite you peak. Uh, we've been walking beyond this. So, this moment I wanted to share. That's Broad Peak right there, and behind this, as as, as soon as we turn, that's there. There is our campsite, and I'm going to get the first sight of K2. That's G4 hidden in the clouds. Behind that is G2, also an 8,000er. Uh, we've met many climbers on our way: Iranian, Polish, uh, Germans. Um, nobody has been successful this year because the weather has been really bad. And it's also very cloudy today. Um, hopefully, we will get catch a glimpse of K2 in all, all its glory. Uh, see you at K2 then. That's Broad Peak. Still have to turn the corner. And here are our donkeys of. Baltistan, Walikum Salam, Kya Alain Aapke Thik Hai? So, after 6 days of walking 10 hours a day, sleeping on a glacier for 2 nights, um, we're here and that's my first sight of K2. It's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. As suspected, it's covered in clouds. But it seems like we might be able to catch a clear sight today. This is Broad Peak, also covered in clouds. That's G4, a bit of a cloud. That's G2. We're at Concordia. It's like a party spot. Hello. Hi, so we are at 5,200 meters. Is that it? 5,000? No, not more. Our faces have swollen up. are kind of altitude sick both of us as you can obviously see and we'll show you yeah. why we have done all of this to ourselves yeah. there it is uh, where, where is it, where is it? <laughs> I can't find it that's it's, there. <laughs> it's there somewhere you get the point right I think that's the one no, is it? yeah it's the one with the So today is day 7, um, we camped at Concordia and now we're making a day trek to K2 base camp. Everybody advised against it because it's supposed to be a 14 hour round trip but we're still pushing through. Um, I don't know how long we'll get there. This is everybody trekking to K2 base camp and there's K2.
uh, we are practically on K2 now, um, walking towards the Gilki Memorial. Um, we just came from the base camp. If you can see there, that's in the distance, that's the base camp. We met Polish teams there. It was quite amazing. It's 5 p.m. and we left Concordia at 6 a.m. So we've been out for 11 hours. We've been stuck in the straw for the last two hours. Um, we still have three hours to go. It's really cold. Um, we're altitude sick still. And look at that storm. That's where, that's what we're walking into that's K2 behind us obviously completely hidden let's hope we make it Um, we have a seven hour um, trek to Ali camp. We hopefully will get there by 2 pm. And then that's going to be 5,200 meters, same as we came to base camp yesterday. And then we will start uh, the Gondagoro lab, which is 5,600 meters at midnight. So we will be climbing all night. Hope to reach. Top of the Guru Light 5 a.m.
we've been trekking for five hours. It's, it's one, started off at eight. Um, I don't know, so maybe another hour or two to go to Ali camp. And then at midnight, we do the Gondogorola, which is 5,600 meters. Well, I wanted to share this view here. It's quite remarkable. Um, this is what they call the throne room of the mountain gods. There's Jiju here, Broad Peak there, and that's K2 hidden in the clouds. At Gondogorola, we will be able to see G1 as well. So that'll be four 8,000ers that we will be able to see together. It's around 1 a.m. We're making our way to Gandhagurula. Expect to trek through the night and reach there by sun dawn. You can see. Six hundred meters, severely altitude stricken. Um, we started out from Ali camp at 11 p.m. For the last three hours, we have been going down uh, the massive valley. Uh, I don't know how I'm moving anymore. I don't know how long to go. That green thing. I think that's our campsite and those are the people who are with us. I'm kind of left in the middle. There's some people behind me as well.
day number 10. Been drinking for four hours. Um, another two and a half to go. Um, yeah, we've crossed along that glacier today, uh, but we're on our way down. Um, probably descending a thousand meters, but the trek gets better. It gets greener, flatter. No rocks. I mean, there are rocks, but some rocks.